In this video, you'll learn about color in Quill. There are several different ways to adjust color in Quill. The first of which is the palette. Using the palette, you can click and change color like this. You can also adjust the hue with this slider here. If tapping on the color box isn't precise enough, you can also use the analog stick. Once you have colors you like, you can add them to your swatches. You can also use these colors as a background. By pressing the B button on your right controller, you can also color pick from images or from existing strokes. You can recolor the entire stroke at once, or you can recolor a portion of the stroke. It's important to note that you can only recolor portions of strokes in the direction that the stroke was drawn. For example, you can color this stroke from left to right, but you can't color it up and down. This is true for any stroke you draw. Think of them like spaghetti noodles. While using the recolor tool, try to hold the left trigger and push up and down on the analog stick. You'll notice that the focus area inside the circle changes. Inside this circle, you'll get sharper edges. By cranking it to the max, you can get hard edges when you're recoloring. By lowering it to the bottom, you get softer gradients. As I explained before, this stroke was drawn from left to right, so the gradient can only travel from left to right. To work around this, you can create vertical strokes that you then duplicate along a straight line. And now, this is not a stroke from here to here. This is many strokes from here to here. By having it set up like this, you can now recolor like this and get a gradient that goes from down to up. This only really works with flat lines. In a future video, I'll explain how you can create strokes on a pivot to get nice little gradients on complex objects like spheres. Quill also has many blending modes. These don't blend between layers like the ones in Photoshop, but you can still use them to get different effects on your strokes. For example, a multiply will darken the color. An overlay will usually brighten the color. You can use a dodge with the existing color to give highlights. Or opacity if you want to make parts of the stroke transparent. If I use this level, it'll be about 40% opaque from the main color. This will make whatever area I do 10% opaque. By going back to full, you can bring the stroke back to its original state. Colorize will let you change the overall color of the stroke. Try playing around with blending modes and colors to find out what works best for you.